at NASA's robotics headquarters in Pasadena, California. Around 100 young engineers are busy reinventing the wheels of the rovers of old. With planetary exploration, we started with a large robot that was very stable, very safe. Um, and now we're beginning to take more risk. We're trying to get to new places, uh, trying to shrink down the, the size of the platform, do more with less. It's a pretty perfect ledge over there. Yeah. This is the sort of thing other rovers can't fit into. Some of our robots are designed to climb up different surfaces. So we have a claw-inspired robot that uses sharp hooks to grab onto the rough surface, kind of like an insect or a rock climber would scale up a cliff. We also use electrostatics to stick to surfaces. So this is like rubbing the balloon on your head and it sticks to the wall. One of the key innovations in the new breed of robotics is biomimicry, using biological systems and processes as the model for design. To look for life, behave like life. We have created a material that has mechanical properties similar to that you see in biological tissues. We have already, with this system, developed swimming robots. There is a lot of work today in robots that can go between dry surfaces and, and water-like surfaces. Wherever we find water on Earth, we find life. So we have a strategy that we've used on Mars called Follow the Water. I think we're going to use that same strategy when we visit an exoplanet. Mm -hmm. 